What is going on, everybody? Today, we're going to analyze the tape of tight end Darnell Washington because I don't think people recognize how important Darnell Washington is for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yes, technically, he only has 11 catches for 120 total yards. And as the tight end, that's no means absolutely difference making, at least through the air. But Darnell Washington does not make his money through the air. This guy does everything else you want out of a tight end. He does it at an elite level. This guy's run blocking ability is phenomenal. I mean, I think there's a chance this guy's a better run blocker than some starting offensive lineman out there. The guy's such a great football player, and there's so many plays that end up popping for big gains because of Washington's ability to block. And today, we're going to analyze some of what this guy does from an advanced standpoint that sticks out to me. He does things that majority of tight ends will never, ever do. He's physical, he's dominant, and you see that on, you know, at the point of attack on tape. And it's not just a run game. This guy's very, very solid in pass pro as well. And we're going to kind of watch some of this guy's blocking snaps. And I'm excited for this one. So let's get right into it. We got a first play here. It's a pretty nice job. You're going to get the double team here by the two tight ends. And then I love how Washington's able to not only flip the hips on this defensive end, but he gets physical and he puts this guy down right here. Love that right there. Absolutely love the fact that this guy's able to flip the hips, get physical, put a guy into the ground. And you see a lot of plays like that. Take this next one here as an example. You're going to get an outside zone towards the left, and Washington's going to do a phenomenal job getting up to the linebacker. And you see how much this linebacker struggles to get off the block. I don't think people recognize. This right here is a starting caliber linebacker in the NFL, and he struggles to get off the block of Darnell Washington here. As Washington makes contact with the linebacker, look at the linebacker struggling. To me, that's an absolutely incredible block by a tight end. Most tight ends aren't doing this. And the thing is, is Washington's not a true offensive lineman, so you don't expect him to be a guy that can't make plays through the air. Like, this guy can still catch the ball. He can still break tackles. He can still do things that a tight end would do in the NFL. Of course, I'm not saying he's Kyle Pitts or Brock Bowers, but he's still a very, very, very good football player. And honestly, this guy blocks better than most of those guys. You see him double team here with the left tackle. He's going to really help the left tackle be able to flip the hips. Phenomenal double team. You really see that happen kind of right there. And then from there, of course, he climbs up to the second level. Just an incredible block here by, by Darnell Washington. But again, there's a lot of these type of examples on tape. On this next one, he's going to do something that you'll probably never see from a tight end. He's going to essentially snatch down the defensive end on this one. Phenomenal job, right? He essentially has a backside block on this one. And again, just being able to snatch down the defensive end, you don't see most tight ends doing these things. And the snatch technique is something this guy has, has perfected. And I'll show you guys a couple more examples of that here in a second. But it's just a really, really good job by Darnell Washington, right? He understands the situation he's in. This is a play towards the left. It's duo. So the play could theoretically bend back towards the right. Uh, and in this case, it actually does. You see the fullback here ends up bending this back towards the right. And Najee Harris is a good job following. And you're going to pick up seven yards on this one. But with Washington, I love the fact that as soon as he gets out of his stance, you know, he recognizes that this is essentially going to be duo, right? Where you're going to get double teams at the point of attack. And his block is the defensive end, but he has to get to the inside of this guy. Now, unfortunately, because of where the defensive ends aligned, you're not going to be able to reach a guy like this, right? It's a very, very difficult thing to do because of the technique this defensive end's playing with. So Washington's going to jump to the inside. He's going to snatch this guy down. And that right there is, just doesn't get better than that, right? That's an absolutely incredible block. You end up snatching this guy. You break the contact. He ends up in the dirt. You jump kind of on the back of this guy. And you kind of just force him not to be able to make the play on this one, All right? Just a really, really good job by Darnell Washington. Again, the guy's a phenomenal, phenomenal blocker. Of course, you guys can watch some of these plays where he catches the football. You know, he's going to do the most basic stuff in terms of getting the ball. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? If Darnell Washington comes in and you're in some sort of 12 personnel or 22 personnel, like the, one, the way you see on this one, I think that kind of benefits the Pittsburgh Steelers, especially since they're a run first football team. Right, they want to be tough. They want to be physical. And I think getting the ball into Washington's hands after he chips or after he blocks is always the best possible thing to do. Uh, you know, to me, one of the things that you have to recognize with a guy like Washington is from a size perspective, the guy is different. Right. You don't see guys like this in, in, in the NFL that often. And he's also hard to tackle. Right. So you'll oftentimes see this guy breaking tackles. I mean, this play right here is such a great athletic play. I mean, beautiful job. Right. So you're going to get the chip help here. You're going to release, you're going to get the ball here by the quarterback, and you're going to break the tackle of a Pro Bowl caliber linebacker right there. And then you jump over a safety. I mean, that's an incredible play right there by Darnell Washington. And again, I understand this guy's not one of those guys that's an absolute difference maker through the air, 
but that's not what his role will ever be with the Pittsburgh Steelers, right? He's a guy that's going to be tough. He's going to be physical. He'll be mostly utilized to block. And I kind of want to get back into that a little bit because this guy has so many beautiful blocks. You got a 36 yard touchdown run here by Najee Harris. And this play works because of Darnell Washington. Like without Washington's block here, this is not a touchdown. Now, of course, Najee Harris does some Najee Harris caliber things, but look at look at Washington on this one. This is such a great job to be able to process that Max Crosby is going to end up to your inside, initially lined up to the outside. If Max Crosby stays out here, Washington has to pick him up. But because of the fact that Max Crosby jumps to the inside, he's no longer Washington's responsibility, right? So processing, very, very, very solid. Looks and realizes who he needs to pick up, right? He kind of keeps his eyes on Max. Then he looks up to number five, the linebacker. And you're going to see him get to the right side of this linebacker. And look at him flip the hips once again. This right here gives this running back the opportunity to hit this to the right side. And not only does Washington actually make this block, but he sticks with that linebacker, right? He stays on that linebacker. He ends up also hitting, uh, I think that's Max right there. He ends up kind of running into uh, but I mean, just look at look at the physicality on this one. It is Max Crosby. I mean, look at this. Washington's engaged with Divine Diablo. Max Crosby comes over on the other side. Washington's kind of just standing there, and Max kind of runs into him and ends up falling. Look at that, right? So that's a great job by by Darnell Washington, and it puts it into perspective how much bigger this guy is than most players, right? This guy's built almost like an offensive tackle, but he's a tight end, right? And he's so athletic, and and he's so strong, he's so physical. And there's just so much upside with the guy like as a blocker because he's not an offensive lineman, right? He's a tight end. And as a defensive end or as a linebacker that might be four, five, six inches smaller than him, it's hard to see over the top. It's hard to look around this guy. It's hard to disengage. It's hard to be able to beat a block by Darnell Washington. But with Darnell Washington, he's so strong. He's so physical. You see him here. He's going to reach to the inside of Will McDonald, who was a first round pick just a couple years back. And you see him hold the block. And you see that as soon as he gets his hands on a guy, he's able to rotate the feet. Right? Look at him rotate the feet, flip the hips. And he ends up to the left side of this defense. Man, he's essentially sealing this guy out. And remember, at the point of attack, Will McDonald's jumping the inside. So Darnell Washington has to beat him. And you see number 80 and number 81 here do a really, really good job. And this is a phenomenal block, and the play ends up popping for about six yards to the inside of Darnell Washington. So, again, just a really, really good job right there by the tight end. As you guys know, I've been watching the Pittsburgh Steelers pretty much every single week up to this point, And we've been doing a lot of film content on this channel of the Steelers. And every time I'm looking at the Steelers running the football and they're having success, I almost think to myself, are there six offensive linemen out there? And it's always Darnell Washington that just looks different. Right, he oftentimes is bigger than the guy he's lined up next to. And he just looks like an extra offensive lineman out there. You see how big he is. And that translates as well, right? You see plays like this, where he moves number 98 out of there. Right? He moves him, he climbs up to the second level, and this play pops for 11 yards. Again, number 98 is a defensive tackle. And I know this is a double team block, but some double teams don't do things like this. Sometimes when you get a double team, these defensive tackles end up holding the ground. But on this one, Washington gets absolutely physical. You see the movement that's generated on this one. And look at that. Look at where they're initially making contact with number 98 relative to the hash mark. And then look at how far he ultimately gets pushed relative to that same hash mark. And you see Washington also ends up getting up to number six here. Phenomenal job being able to process it, get up to number six and create that lane. This one picks up 11 yards on second and seven. I want to talk a little bit about the pass blocking as well, because there's a lot of high quality reps from Washington in pass pro. You know, I think it's one of those things we have to talk about. You know, when you talk about blocking, there's two elements of blocking. Uh, one is obviously going to be run blocking, which we've already looked at. The second is going to be pass blocking. And this one's one of those things where you just see the upside here as a, as a, as a pass blocker. This right here is not a safety or cornerback coming off the edge. This is the starting defensive lineman for the for the New York Giants, and he just gets dominated in pass pro by, by Darnell Washington. You know, I was talking to some NFL scouts before Washington came out of the NFL draft two years back, and some people were making jokes that this guy should just transition to an offensive tackle. And uh, part of that was is because he's just a great blocker, and you see that play in, play out. And it's the, it's the little things he does as well, right, that kind of stick out. So this defense man is going to get his hands into Washington. You see the hands come up. Hands land inside, and Washington brings his hands up, and he's going to snatch down right there. And that snatch is essentially breaking the contact that this defensive lineman has. 
So to me, phenomenal job being able to break the contact and the defensive end ends up falling forward as soon as that snatch happens. And with that, Washington gains leverage. He stays on top of this and then just physically dominates a, a, a starting defensive lineman in the NFL. And on this one here, you pick up 43 yards to George Pickens. Check this one out. You're going to get a play action. Darnell Washington is going to essentially jump set Max Crosby. And you don't get this from tight ends that often. And I watch Raiders tape every single week. Uh, and you don't, you just don't get this. Max Crosby dominates majority of, of guys out there, right? He dominates majority of tight ends specifically. And you don't oftentimes get a guy like Darnell Washington that's able to handle Max Crosby. Max Crosby has phenomenal hands. So you're going to see Max Crosby is trying to swipe the hands. Darnell Washington is also trying to swipe the hands. And you get two guys that are basically swiping each other. And that's an, that's an interesting rep. You don't really see that that often. You know, usually a tackle is trying to get the hands into a defensive lineman. And then the defensive lineman tries to swap the hands. Vice versa, the defensive lineman tries to get the hands into the offensive lineman. And then the offensive lineman is trying to swipe. And the guy that swipes is usually the better player. And in this instance, you get both guys that kind of swipe. So that's an interesting rep. And then you also see that after the swipe happens, Washington leans into Crosby. The left hand lands to the inside chest. And you see him do a pretty good job right here, being able to hold the block. To me, that's not a hold. That's just a really, really good block. Uh, and then he ends up letting go of Crosby as well. Gets right in front of it. And that's a winning rep. And that's a true one-on-one -on -one with the tight end going up against one of the best defense fans in the NFL. And that's a phenomenal rep. Like, it does not get better than that right there. Just an incredible rep. Second and eight, and you're going to pick up 31 yards on this one. It's a really, really good job. Let's get into the next snap. Overall, I think Darnell Washington is going to end up becoming one of the best blocking tight ends in the NFL. I don't think he'll become the next Kyle Pitts or Brock Bowers in terms of his playmaking abilities. But from a blocking standpoint, I think there's some real value there. I know for the most part, people might not think blocking tight ends matter, but I don't think we've ever seen a blocking tight end like Darnell Washington. Right, there's been guys that are good blockers, but generally speaking, they're guys that are very, very slow and they're unathletic. And they don't have great technique, and that's not the case with Darnell Washington. This guy is very athletic, especially considering how big and strong this guy is. But on top of that, he's also a very, very good blocker, and he's just hard to get around. And to me, I think there's real value in that. And I don't think teams have valued a guy like Darnell Washington in the past. And honestly, there's probably not a lot of guys that are like Darnell Washington, to be honest. But the guy is an absolute superstar blocker, and you just see it on tape, man. And I love the fact that the Pittsburgh Steelers are trying to build a bully, right? They're trying to be strong. They're trying to be physical. They want to run people over. And they have Najee Harris, who from a running back perspective brings that attitude and mindset. And from a tight end perspective, Darnell Washington definitely brings that as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The Pittsburgh Steelers are obviously building the right way. They've done so many great things in the draft over the past couple of years. And I think Washington is definitely one of those guys. That was a really, really good pick. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, consider subscribing. We are obviously covering the Pittsburgh Steelers on this channel. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you guys next time with another video.